Welcome to the Vintage Denim Heat Check. This is the highest selling vintage denim on eBay over the last two weeks. Now powered by WeBuyOldJeans.com. Let's get into the list. All right, the first garment on the list is this 1960s Levi's 557XX Type 3 denim jacket. Uh, this one looks great. Fantastic color. Uh, of course, we fortunately are missing the... A patch which is not unusual but largely generally speaking the wear is actually pretty minuscule um got light yellow thread that big e tab like we love to see take a look here in the back side again i mean again very clean we have the zero uh for the stamp here uh pretty typical from that time period um yeah anyway beautiful uh Type 3, those 537s are definitely uh, sort of uh, breaking above the rest in terms of Type 3s for sure. Um, obviously a bit rare because they're um, earlier design. They are a bit more crop than the 505 would end up being. So uh, either way, beautiful jacket right here. This one sold for $650. The next up, we have another Type 3 here. This is kind of a funny listing. Rare 1950s, 60s, adult, medium, two generation, button 17. Um, that, nowhere does it say Levi's, which, you know, that's typically an important thing to, to leave there. It looks like they may have had it in some other, they have, yeah, they have it down here in the description, but not in the, the main listing. So um, probably should do that. Another, another beautiful one here, patch missing. Uh, dark colors There's a big E. Uh, yeah, nothing particularly out of the ordinary here. Let's take a look. It's a size 42 um, Which is actually a pretty decent size to find these in um, So it's definitely a good a good aspect of this jacket here um, A little bit of wear on the back, but not too bad. Maybe yeah, it looks like some abrasions maybe on the back there Either way beautiful jacket this one sold for $800 then we have the 1950s Wrangler Bluebell Sanfordized 11MWZ. Uh, look at this good size. I think I hope this is the measured size, 32 by 35. That's pretty unusual. Uh, but look at this. There's that Wrangler patch with the Bluebell stamp on it and those rounded rivets on the back. Uh, we do not see this type of uh, Wranglers on this list very often at all. But this one is an exceptional uh, specimen here. Deep, deep color still left, almost like maybe like a one wash almost feel. You can see those uh, just two pockets there. Does it not appear? I don't think there's a wash pocket on this one. Um, there's that inner label, the blue bell on it. This is one of those early labels from that time period, so everything looks good there. Conmar zipper, obviously the, the Z here stands for zipper. Wranglers largely did just do zippers. Either way, it's a, uh, just an exceptional, beautiful, uh, pair of Wranglers uh, that you do not see very often, at least on this list, because they don't typically sell for as much. And uh, But this one, in this case, it did. It sold for $938 uh, for this beautiful pair of Wrangler Bluebell jeans. Then next up, we have the 501, it says S, Big E, True Vintage, I hate that term, 1960s jeans, uh, size 40 by 30, that is the uh, that is the written size, not necessarily the measured size. So um, I'm not sure why I call it S here because I do see an A above the 501. Um, that would have been from the time period they were using these stamps, I suppose. But um, there's an A on above this one, so it's not the S stamp that would uh, often be on, on these as well. Uh, let's take a look at some of these uh, pictures. Buttonfly, obviously. Some ugh, rough photos. A little out of focus. Actually, every single one of these is out of focus. Wow. So not a lot of good details here. Uh, I don't know if they're looking at this, but this is eight. Obviously, you can see there's no V stitch, so we're looking at you know that that period from the like late 60s, um, while they were using that briefly using that sort of what we think might be a grading system over the 501. But either way, this is I mean it's a from what I can tell, it looks like it's a good pair of jeans. Clean looks like maybe 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 no washes, maybe a one wash. See, do they give us the measurements? I don't see the measurements, measurements, measurements. Oh, it says size of 40 and inch of 30 inches. Okay. Well, it looks like they, uh, these jeans were handmade. Yeah, yeah, I suppose you could say that. I guess they may not have shrunk, which would be incredible if these are not, are unshrunk 
501s from this period because that certainly raises the value. Uh, but either way, these did sell for $1,100. Uh, that was the only bid on these jeans. Might have done a little bit better if they could have gotten some more in focus uh, pictures. But one way or another, a good sale. All right, then we have our first Type 1 506 on this list. Now, we normally have a lot of these, but I don't think we do today. This might be the only one. Here with that one pocket, you know what? Uh, we have pleats that look loose uh, across all the pleats, actually. Uh, they look all all loose all down. There's not a, it looks like a single thread that's still attached. Wear around the neck. Nice modeling. The buttons are beautiful. Uh, there is the there is the uh, rivet. Big E. Take a, yeah, you can see those. You can see those pleats have been loosened. There's that selvage. I'm trying to see if there's a stamp, but I can't really tell. Buckle back, obviously, on this one. Yeah, beautiful jacket. You gotta love it. Lots of little little issues with this one, um, which certainly led to its value. Yeah, that look at that one. That's that's pretty rough right there. I think that's is that a sleeve. Looks like it might be on a sleeve. Yeah, lots lots of wear on this one. That's why it did end up so. But it presents better on the front end. That's for sure. Uh, but anyway, this one sold for thirteen fifty with thirty five bids. So. Uh, didn't do too bad to be honest. Uh, the condition is is rough in, in some ways, but uh, still people are out there trying to get this one uh, Beautiful jacket Then for the first time ever, I think we have all three of the Holy Trinity of Denim Lee Levi's and Wrangler all in the same list uh, So that's pretty cool. I don't think it's happened before we have this uh, pinstripe railroad engineer jacket size 40 beautiful uh, elements here Love the striping. There's obviously some some damage here that long Lee um, On the button right there. You can see it uh, Beautiful button a good photo for this button. That's a great photo of the button uh, Let's take a look at some of the other elements. There is obviously again somewhere, but largely a pretty good condition jacket nonetheless uh, Love this love this look here. Uh, so this one is fantastic Thank you for making this sale so that we could have all three on the list. Um, this one is sold for $13.60, just barely beating out the Type 1. Do you have a vintage denim that you are looking to sell? Maybe you need it appraised, or maybe you just need a little bit more information about the garment you have. Well, we recommend WeBuyOldJeans.com. These guys are the best in the business, in my opinion. They offer the best prices and have the most knowledgeable information and experts at their fingertips, and they offer unmatched service in the industry. So whether you're looking for a free appraisal, maybe you're looking just to offload some denim or maybe just a little bit of information we buy old jeans.com is the place for you all right now next now at no now at number four we have the winner of the like simplest listing of all time uh, <laughs> levi's 501 z double x and the uh 40 by 31 a lot of 40s today um yeah, typically this would not be a good listing, but it's still sold for a good amount of money. Here we have the 501 ZXX. We have that uh, Jack Ron patch. Clearly has that big old crack through it. Here's another photo. Still not great photos. Um, I know these are tough. Jeans are tough. You gotta have a space for them. It's a little bit better one right there. Um, if it didn't have, if you didn't include the 501 Z, this thing would have probably sold for pennies. Um, but otherwise, looks fantastic. Like a beautiful condition uh, with a V stitch there. Lots of deep, deep color on this one. Uh, this one looks like it's it's got tons and tons of life left on it. Um, size 40. I don't know if that's what they measured. Worn a couple times. Washed a couple times. Outgrew and sat in the closet. Not sure about shrinkage from washing. All right. So yeah, it's probably a a much smaller size. Probably like. 37 38 is my guess um, because he washed it so many times um, which is a bummer but still it is what it is this one did not sell for $20 as a winning bid it the offer was accepted at $1,500 then we have a Levi's 507 double X the type 2 here with a one-sided tag they want to let you know that blue selvage denim looks like this one is pretty tattered and bruised as well. Um, 
I've we've been seeing some of these even damaged uh, uh, type twos sell for more than the type ones in some cases. Uh, this is obviously the case here. This has, I mean, just about as much damage as as the type one did earlier. Um, it's, it's a medium small, which I'm sure it's like a 38. Let's see. Um, signs of major wear on neck, stressing on arms. Does not show any. Does not show any photos of measurements, guys. You gotta get measurements on there, and this is just. Uh, yeah, it says small, but who knows exactly what you mean by small. You can see one of the little buckles back there. Not the buckle back, but whatever they call it. The, the waist straps is busted off as well. So clearly some wear here, but this one still did all right. It sold for $1,500. Then at number two, uh, this, uh, <laughs> this is a funny one. Number two, we have the Levi's Big E S-Type Selvage 3634. Great size. Unwashed, apparently. Um, but the guy took a photo on his work truck and left his like license plate like right out there So we're gonna try to avoid showing that too much, but uh, he did it to everyone else see this is the s501 here uh, This is what I would have expected to see on the one that called it themselves s but anyway um, We've seen a couple of these go recently uh, this one uh, is obviously a beautiful condition Wow um, late 60s 66 potentially there's that stamp on the inside. Look at that. Uh, just, man, looks like so, like, he probably is right. This has probably never been washed. Maybe one wash. I'm seeing maybe a little bit of, like, puckering there. But it could just be a distortion of the, the way it's being uh, displayed. Again, over and over and over showing his license plate. <laughs> We're going to avoid that. Beautiful jeans, nonetheless. I mean, I mean, excellent, excellent. You're not going to, these are... This is a rare find, and I feel like this is a really good. This was a really good deal for the buyer. Uh, the seller accepted an offer of two thousand uh, dollars, so I feel like that's a pretty good deal considering the condition of this, these jeans and the size as well. So, um, beautiful pair of jeans. Then at number one we have a five hundred one that is a in a thirty two by twenty eight Big E Selvage. Uh, that's the that's like the English way of saying it. Uh, hidden rivets here. We got, so this is one of the older pairs we've seen actually on this list today. Um, it's actually kind of a sort of a, a down day. Looks like a W. That is a, a pretty rare stamp. You don't see that one all the time. V stitch. Uh, yeah, hidden rivets. Beautiful. Uh, there is some wear on this one. Uh, looks like it's been washed a number of times. Is that a missing? No, it's not. Um, it's been washed a few times. The color is, is a little bit faded. At least according, according to the photos, it can be hard to say sometimes with these photos. Um, but they provide us the rise, but where do they provide us the uh, measurements? I don't see the, the measurements. I'm trying to find the measurements. I guess those must be the measurements, not just the waist size. Do they have a... Because I think the patch is missing. We don't have a patch on this one, so... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing the measurements but we'll take your word for it on this one uh, but this one did sell for a best offer of three thousand dollars to make it on the number one spot on the heat checklist this week uh, beautiful pair of jeans uh, we'll see what happens next week